What's up guys, Vince Max here back in with another video and in this video I'm going to show you guys on how you can install a custom script on your Windows uh, 5M server. Uh, so in this video we will be installing uh, and replacing QV inventory to project slot inventory which is better designed uh, inventory system uh, for our QV core server. So let's get started. First of all, you need to access your uh, Windows server using the RDP connection, remote desktop connection, and put it on your IP of your Windows server given by your IS, uh, given by your hosting website. And just click on connect and just put on your password. But for me, I already inputted my password, so it doesn't ask me to put the password again. So once you are done, it will log into your remote desktop connection. Uh, as you can see, this is my Windows server. So you can see uh, we are using TX admin and the server is already running and to get or access the PS inventory you can uh, download it from here and when once you are here on this website the github link I'll put the link in the description of this video so do not worry about it just go here and you click on the religious you don't need to have do on the code one because this is the older one this is the new releases okay just click on the releases one and download the source code and chief file and once it's downloaded, uh, you will see uh, the download. Just extract it to wherever you want. I'll just extract to the downloads folder. Uh, by the way, we are already using the PS inventory, and I changed the name to QB inventory so it doesn't uh, interact with other inventory system in the future. So, which is a really good thing. So, as you can see, we already downloaded the PS inventory and extracted it. And once you extracted it, just open it, and you can change and uh, see the config file let's open the config file so uh, as you can see this is the, is the use target which is our QB core QB target so you can change it or you don't need to change this if you are already uh, if you have already changed the configuration on CFG editor as we already uh, inputted the use set use target to true on our server CFG so you don't need to do anything just don't change it at all you can change the slot uh, size and the inventory weight to whatever you want and you can even change change the um, timer like uh, it will enable the progress bar timer so once you uh, put on the tab button so it doesn't instantly open the inventory or and you can change the number on how you can how how much time it takes to open inventory you can change that and you can change other items as well but you don't need to edit anything you just need to edit the inventory weight and slots if you want to or anything at all so just close it out and the important part is you you need to rename this to QB inventory and just right click here and open with code so we are using VS code you need to have this installed so just open with VS code and just click on yes I trust the authors and just go here in the search bar and just type in PS inventory so it will uh, check all the files on the folder which says PS inventory and just replace it with QV inventory so I just click on this replace all and it will change all the occurrences on our script and it will change to QV inventory so it doesn't interact or it doesn't crash or it doesn't have any issues in the further when some scripts ask for QV inventory and we are using PS inventory at all so that's good so once it's done you can open this up and I think it already has images for everything yes it already has images so you don't need to apply more images at all so uh, now you can just copy the script and just go to your file or the folder that your server is on like for now this is my server QB core resources go inside QB and check for QB inventory just delete it out if you have the default one and just paste it out and just restart you in the start your server or just refresh your um, QB inventory by typing ensure QB inventory in the console of TX admin and it will um, it will refresh the script for you and it will work 100% guys so I'm gonna s I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys how it looks in the game so from now on I'll be uh, I'll be uploading more videos often 
which will have uh, more uh, custom scripts for our Cubico server. So, for example, inventory and this loading screen and the HUD HUD or even jobs or installing custom items in the game, something like that. Just, just comment down below for what videos would I make and even the character um, character UI or something like that. So make sure to comment down the, the uh, what video I should be uploading more often. And as you can see, we are using custom multi-character and custom hood. I'll quickly just choose my character and the last location and as you can see we spawn in let me get some core okay we are in the car and as you can see we have successfully installed the custom inventory system this is the logic slot inventory system on our server and it works fine and this is the custom item it works fine okay okay go we are even using a custom third screen that I'll be uploading the video of soon so make sure to comment down below like the video subscribe to the channel and share the video as much as possible so this is Benchmark Share signing out. I hope you guys subscribe to the channel and I hope you guys like this video. And if you have any further questions or have any issues uh, installing this, just comment down below and I'll be happy to help. And as you can see, everything is working fine. So uh, um, my next video will be about the custom items, adding custom items to your server and making it usable so it's, it's better. So people who wants to add custom items to the game will have easy tutorial on our channels. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and you'll be hit with notification once uh, the video is up. So our hosting partner is Jap Hosting. Make sure to check them out. I'll put uh, I'll also put the affiliate link so make sure to get them out check them out and use my code promo code which will give you 20% discount if you want to get any server with them like a 5m server windows server and even they have like lifetime server so you just need to pay once and you'll have the server for lifetime so it's benchmarks here signing out guys i hope you guys like this video thank you very much bye bye